it shouldn't matter what is your gender identity or what is your sexual sexual orientation the fact that you're being victimized that is what supposed to be supposed to matter one of the pressing issues that we have in the caribbean is discrimination towards lgbti persons the cyberbullying rate is very high the gender-based violence cases are often not reported and due to case not being reported you find that victims are often left to go through this process all alone most times cases keep reoccurring i'm currently working with ekid we advocate for lgbtiq plus persons as well as persons living with disability as well as women girls and youth also persons living with hiv and aids we are currently providing legal assistance for those persons that are experiencing gender-based violence both offline and online We've had some ones in terms of the buggery law being appealed in some countries such as Barbados and Antigua. My message to the LGBTIQ community, my brothers and sisters out there, continue being your authentic self despite the laws that are still there that is trying to tear us down. Also, my message out there to persons that are not a part of the community, you shouldn't victimize somebody because their choices don't align with yours. So I think that respecting that is a way in which we can all um, achieve equality. Yes.